good morning to all my viewers so uh, i hope you all doing good so in last class we were discussing about the chapter that is assessment of firms in income tax two subject so we will have solved some problems on this uh, area also today also i have brought in problem on the same chapter that is assessment of firms so with some modifications in the adjustments so this is the problem a b and c are partners in a firm with 25th 25th and 15th shares the profit and loss account of the firm for the year ended 31st march 2020 is as under so this is the problem the left hand side shows the uh, debit side of profit and loss account and credit side of the profit and loss account shows the incomes the problem is trade expenses is given 191800 provisions is there 10000 interest on capital 10 at 15% so they have given a b c 15000 15000 15000 salary to a b is that 72000 commission to c is there 36000 and net profit is given and credit side gross profit is there income from other source is there interest on securities is there house property income is there so they are given the note a and b are the working partners so in this problem there is no any further adjustments or additional information is not given in this problem so we'll see how to solve this problem so as we know to compute the uh, what they have asked so it's not asked anything to calculate so the basic thing we had what we have to calculate is that uh, first we'll find out the book profit and the total income of the firm so to calculate the book profit and total income of the firm uh, you had to go to the profit and loss account given in your problem uh, in my last class i have given the format of calculating the book profit and also how to uh, find out the total income of the firm so to find the book profit i told you had to take the base as the net profit so the base you had to take here is the net profit see the problem the net profit is given is 295200 so you take that as the base on the outer column that is 295200 and for that you had to take the heading add disallowed expenses so you had to take the format heading that is disallowed expenses so when they say disallowed expenses means you have to go to the profit and loss account debit side expenses means directly go for the debit side of profit and loss account and in debit side of profit and loss account you go on checking the expenses okay and if the expenses are not related to the business means then you go for disallowing such expenses so business expenses means generally you might be knowing what are the business expenses that you um uh, going to incur in your business so the trade expenses is given so trade expenses it is one of the business expenses it is allowed second is the provision is given 10000 so in your problem in profit and loss account you are going to take only the expenses and incomes earned by the firm if any provisions any reserves is that means so it is not a part of the business expenses so what you had to do means here you had to disallow such provisions and any reserves kept by the business firm so you take provision in the solution see here disallowed expenses in that you take the first point provisions 10000 so e in problem if profit and loss account if you come across any provisions and any reserves that has to be disallowed next is interest on capital is given that is at 15% as per the rule interest on capital they say that up to 12% it is to be treated as a business expenditure or as a allowable expenses if it is more than 12% means that more than excess amount is to be disallowed so here you find what is the excess amount so i told up to 12% it is business expenditure so you take 15 minus 12 so the excess percentage is 3% that is to be disallowed so interest on capital that is given is for a you paid 15000 for b it is paid 15 c it is paid 15000 so totally you had to disallow 3% here 
so you go for the solution so you take interest on capital 15 percent is given from that you direct 12 percent so what is the excess amount three percent that is to be disallowed here so 15,000 divided by 15 so you find out how much for 3% so you will come across 3,000 rupees for each that is to be disallowed. Next is that salary is given so salary to B is that 72,000 and in your problem if any expenses like salary uh, bonus commission if it is paid to the partners and if it is debited in profit and loss account that is not treated as a business expenses that should be disallowed here so then you go for the solution you take the salary 72,000 and commission 36,000 so salary 72,000 commission 36,000 so these are the expenses on the debit side so there is no any adjustment also so for disallowing expenses i told you have to check all the debit side of the profit and loss account and again if we had to go for the adjustment and you have to find any other uh, adjustment is given so in this case there is no any adjustment is given so directly you will take the total of all this disallowed expenses the total you will get is 127000 okay if you add it you will get 422200 next heading what you have to take is that less allowable expenses so the next heading is you have to write allowable expenses allowable expenses means so these are the business expenses so you are going to allow it when you find the net profit or loss so this allowable expenses it will be given in the adjustment or in the additional information why it will be given in adjustment or additional information means sometimes they may forget to enter on the debit side of the profit and loss account actually where we have to take all these expenses it is to be debited to the profit and loss account but in profit and loss account suppose if it is not entered means now you have to go for adjusting such expenses okay here in the adjustment there is no any such expenses given just note is given a and b are working partner so for the allowable expenses you write nil there is no any allowable expenses next heading what you have to take means you have to write incomes not related to business so you go for the income that incomes not related to business you have to write so for the incomes means you, you had to check the credit side of profit and loss account. So where you have to check you must go for the credit side of profit and loss account. Here it is the gross profit is given. So you leave that gross profit and you go for the other incomes. If it is not business income means then you must go for deducting such expenses. Means other than the business head there will be various other heads of income like house property income capital gains and income from other sources so it is not a business income such incomes is to be deducted here so the income like here income from other sources is given so it is not business income you have to deduct interest on securities is given so it is a income from other source then you have to deduct again here 10,000 house property income is given that is 50,000 so it is also not a business income so you have to deduct so you go for the solution you take the heading incomes not related to business in that you take income from other source 1 lakh interest on securities 10,000 house property income 50,000. So these are the incomes not related to business and you have to check on the credit side of the profit and loss account. You take all the total and it comes to 160000 so if you deduct the balance you get is 262200 so you are going to take it as a book profit so this is the book profit so after finding book profit the next step you have to is go for is that computation of the total income so you have to find the total income so to find the total income the base here you have to use is that book profit so you have to take the book profit as the base what is the book profit you got here is 2,62,200 so you take that 2,62,200 as a base and the rule you go for the rule that is you have to deduct remuneration paid to working partners so you have to deduct the 
point remuneration paid to the working partners so in that you take the first point actual remuneration so you have to write what actual remuneration you have to take remuneration means here you have to add three things three things means one is you have to take salary plus you have to take the bonus plus commission if it is paid to the working partners you have to take all these three then you calculate as the actual remuneration so we will see in the problem what is the salary commission bonus that is for the working partner so you have to take only for the working partner here so who are all the working partner in the beginning in the note itself they have given that a and b are the working partners so you take the remuneration of the a and b so what is the uh, there is no salary for a so b salary is there so you take 72000 salary and bonus is not given in the problem and then commission is given that is for the c so commission is for the c means c is not a working partner so you can't take the commission here so only for the remuneration you had to take is the salary of the b 72000 so that you take in the inner column that is in the first inner column you had to write or the statutory limit so you have to go for the statutory limit the statutory limit you had to apply is first you had to find 90 percent of the book profit of three lakhs book profit so 90 percent of first to three lakh of book profit it is the rule so you see what is the book profit here book profit is only two lakh sixty two thousand two hundred means it is less than three lakh is it so statutory limit the rule you take 90 percent of book profit of three lakh or 1 lakh 50 thousand so you also don't go for searching where is this 1 lakh 50 thousand 1 lakh 50 thousand is the rule you had to apply here so 90 percent of 3 lakh means the 3 lakh book profit is not there what is actual book profit is here is 2 lakh 62 thousand 200 so for that you calculate 90 percent so if you calculate 90 percent it comes around 2 lakh 35 thousand 980 okay or you take the rule 1 lakh 50 thousand so in this two you have to take whichever is more for the inner column so whichever is more here 2 lakh 35 thousand 980 so you take in the inner column not for the second inner column still you have to go for the another inner column that is there you have to take 2 lakh 35 thousand 980 and the second point is that you have to take 60 percent of the balance of book profit so you have to take how much 60 percent of balance of book profit but here the balance of book profit is not there there is no book profit more than 3 lakh if it is more than 3 lakh so that balance you take as the 60 percent so 60 percent here you have to take nil okay as book profit is not available more than 3 lakh so 2 lakh 35,980 plus that 60 percent you add that nil is there so you will get 2 lakh 35,980 that you take for the inner column so inner column that is first one the sal actual remuneration you have taken that is 72,000 now the statutory limit you got is 2 lakh 35,980 so in this two you have to take whichever is less so you have to take whichever is less first if you in the statutory limit you have to use whichever is more but when you come for these two uh, uh, comparison you have to take whichever is less so that is 72000 is lesser amount so you take 72000 to the outer column okay from the book profit you deduct this 72000 the balance you get is 190200 that you treat it as a business income so it has to be treated as a business income but here they have asked what is the total income so you have to find the total income uh, total income you had to go for adding all other sources of income of the firm for other sources of income of the firm you go for the credit side of profit and loss account in the problem and you take all the other sources so in the credit side of profit and loss account means here you see income from other sources there again interest on security is also there house property is also there so these are not a these are all the other sources of income like house property and last head income from other source so you take these three
three items so if you take these three items 1 lakh 10000 50000 total you get is 3 lakh 50200 so that is the gross total income so you have to take as a gross total income from the gross total income you give deduction under section 80 so you have to give deduction under section 80 so if there is any contributions any payment made by the firm so if they can claim deductions they can reduce the to total income uh, the deduction is available is from 80 g to 80 double g double a so that deductions have given the note on the very uh, in my first class of that uh, chapter itself you can refer it so deduction under section 80 in this problem there is no any such deductions given so you take it as nil and you take the total here so it comes to 3 lakh 200 so that is the total income or the taxable income of the firm okay so this is the way you have to calculate the first you have to find the book profit and if they ask total income so you have to find the total income and further if they ask any uh, tax liability you also find the tax liability so that we will uh, do it in my next class with uh, some more adjustments so you'll also learn how to find the uh, tax liability of the firm so I hope you understood this problem. So keep watching my uh, channel and also do subscribe my channel also. Thank you. Thank you very much.